have I do will like a fence. I 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 don't wanna move like a jazz. I have I do will like a fence. I have I do will like a fence. I have I do will like a fence. I strip the door like a lash. Boy, I'm a king out of hell. I just wanna give me a mess. It live at the top of the planet. Welcome back to another episode of Classic Conversation. Uh, got my guy, DJ Exclusive, as always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the night we got the president of Omicron Tai Sigma on, Phi Beta Sigma, uh, James Barn. What's going on, man? Man, you know, one day at a time, just trying to, you know, make it one day at a time. I heard that. I heard okay. that. So we're going okay. to kick it tonight. We just we just sit back and chill. So that. You know, the, that always started off for us. That's what we're going what we gonna jump into tonight. Okay, okay. We'll just start by formally introducing yourself to the people that don't know and give me a little bit of your history, introduce yourself a little bit and tell us what you're about. All right, well, um, I'm newly elected president of Omicron Tau Sigma chapter, graduate chapter in Troy, Alabama. I'm originally from uh, Andalusia, Alabama. I went to Troy State. I pledged Phi Beta Sigma Spring 95 at Troy State University, after a Lambda chapter. Um, and just pledging Phi Beta Sigma, you know, at Troy University, Troy State University. And it just gave me the opportunity to be around a bunch of great guys that, you know, I felt had the same common goal, you know, that I had. Ain't nothing like, you know, being around a bunch of brothers that, you know, that, you know, was about what Phi Beta Sigma stand for, Brotherhood, Scholarship, and Service. You know, almost 29 years into this fraternity and all those guys that I was at Troy State with, yet we still keep in contact, all of us, to this day. Um, I'm married. I married my wife, Terry. We have two sons, David and Jay. Um, I've been working with youth over 25 years. You know, from YDC to RYDC, the juvenile probation officer, to owning my own group home. Now, I even have, you know, moved some defects kids into my home. Um, I had a group home for like 13 years, open arms group home in Powder Springs, Georgia. I Now I'm the um, owner and CEO of Fast Trash Sanitation, which is the sanitation company where we go around and pick up uh, trash from neighborhood subdivisions and about to get into um, picking up trash um, for businesses. So, you know, I'm just about trying to be a blessing to others. I'm big on God. You know, there's nothing that I do that I don't put God in it. I'm big on prayer. Um, I'm big on change. And, you know, like I said, most of all, I'm just big on blessing other people. You know, I'm a firm believer. As long as you bless other people, then you don't never have to get on your knees and ask God for a blessing, a blessing because God is always going to bless the blessing. Okay, so that's who I am in a nutshell. Ooh, that oh, was hard. Sound like a sermon. That's <laughs> a collection plate, bro. <laughs> that's oh, wow. What, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Pooh, you know, we always, I'm proud of you. You know, uh, I came up under Pooh. Appreciate so, it. Um, who was, was one of the ones, him, Jug, Chris Kelly, all the, all the old head guys, Charles, all of them, my brother. They showed us the way. So um, to be still here rocking, like you said, 20 something years later, it, it, it shows a lot. Okay, I want to jump in right quick. Then it's a two part. First part to Pooh, and then the next part to Lowe. How? Wh so, what does the brotherhood brotherhood mean to you, Pooh? Like brotherhood means everything to me. You know, when I'm down and out and going through, I know I can pick up my phone and call some brothers that I know that's true brothers. And, you know, they're going to tell me where I'm right. They're going to tell me if I'm wrong. You know, true brothers going to do that. They're not going to tell always, you know, tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear. You know, and these brothers always keep it 100. If I ever needed anything, I know that I could reach out to my brothers of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity, no, what I, no matter where I'm at, and that I'm going to get the support that I need. And I feel in my heart that I can go to any city. And if I get in a jam or, 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 or a bind, that I can reach out to the brothers of Phi Beta Sigma in that city, and they're going to make sure that I'm good. So, so for me, for brotherhood, you know, my brothers are five eighty single fraternity is like my brothers that were birthed with my mom. So that's how, you know, the brotherhood to me is. Okay, dope, dope, dope. What about you, Lowe's? What the brotherhood is to you? And what was it like coming up on the 
poop. It, for one, it was hell coming up on the poop. <laughs> but we ain't gonna <laughs> poop kept us straight. Uh, but nah, the the brotherhood to me, man, is it, it's kind of like what Pooh said. Like I, you know, I ended up being online with twelve guys, and I might have knew one that was from my hometown. And out of those twelve, like we all still keep in contact. Like um, one of mine that I like, Larry, like. Larry done been in the military all overseas, everywhere. He need, he get, I need, I get, no matter where he at. So it's all, it's kind of like having somebody to depend on. Like you said, no matter, no matter where you at, and you build a bond with those people, but not only building a bond from those people from your chapter, uh, but you build a bond from with people that's in other chapters, whether it's whether it's in, in Florida or whether it's in Georgia or, or wherever. Um, so it's it's actually like he said, having a like minded group of brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's on the same page and and it stands for the same thing. Um it's you looking out for each other, man. It, it really is like your like your brother. If you need him, you pick up and call, you can do that. Um, is all brothers the same? I ain't gonna lie and tell you all brothers the same, but you do have a bunch of them that that's the same. like poop, like poop. Pooh brought me in. Uh, you know, my brother was there when I came in, and Pooh then was over you know, a lot of everything that was going on. And so it's just, you know, holding people accountable. Um, they definitely hold us accountable to make the organization better than it was when we got in it. I think that's the thing that uh, people got to understand. You're always trying to make it a better organization than it was when you got in it. I'm not saying the organization ain't great, but you want to add instead of just taking away all the time. So um, he taught us how to do that. You know, he taught us how to add to the organization, how to um, make it make sense, if, if, if I could say, uh, the stuff that we were doing. Because uh, we, I mean, we were some wild boys, um, but <laughs> but we made it out, you know. So that's what that's what it means to me. I apologize for having to move around, but I had to. Uh, my wife wanted the bedroom to watch TV and they wanted to hear me talking, so I had to come down to my blue and white room. You in that blue den, ain't you? Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. So uh, um, right now, for us, y'all, are, are there a lot of guys in y'all area that's that's still active? That's that's um, you know, with the brotherhood for us, the stuff y'all are doing for the community and the stuff you're doing Pooh, for the community. I'm assuming that's the brotherhood as a whole or just some individual stuff that you was doing for the community. When you say you had the nonprofits, that was just you. Um, uh, how deep was the brotherhood involved in those, those well, for, things that you were doing? Well, for us group home go, that was just totally me and my wife. Um, so that was totally, um, on me here in Georgia. But far as everything that we're going to do in Troy, Alabama, since I'm the new president, it's going to be, um, it ain't me, it's us. You know, like I tell the brothers in the chapter, you know, no matter who the president is, you know, it's all about us and what we do as one, not as an individual. So if the chapter win, everybody win. The president don't get the accolades, the chapter get the accolades. And that's just who I am. It's about all of us and not about one of us or two of us. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited about what's going on in Troy and, you know, the changes that's taking place in Troy with Omicron Tasig. Y'all just had a big, we, well, we just had a big thing this past weekend with John Lewis. Am I, am I correct, Boo? Yeah, it actually, it was yesterday, man. Um, you know, shout out to the city of Troy, Alabama. You know, they gave John Lewis, you know, um, his a, 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 a um, holiday in the city of Troy. So February the 19th is officially John Lewis holiday in the city of Troy. That was big for the city. It was big for the John Lewis family. And we all know John Lewis was the brother of uh, Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. Congress, let me put some respect on his name. Uh, right. John right. Lewis. Right. So, right. so yeah, they had that event yesterday. I was down at the event. Uh, brother State Director, uh, Brother Abraham was there as well. And some of the brothers from the chapter, uh, Omicron Tau Sigma chapter was there. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's big. Cool, cool. Can, can you speak more towards the Troy event or just um, still unfolding? Or like, can you speak more towards that event? The, the, the John event? Lewis event or the uh, state what conference? Up, the upcoming event. The oh, upcoming the state conference. conference. Oh, yeah, yes. man. You know, hey, 
yeah, let's dive into this state conference because you know I'm excited about this state conference. <laughs> you know, you got to realize, you know, pledging at Troy State University, you know, that's Troy University. This is the first time the state conference gonna be in Troy, Alabama. And you know, I told the chap, I said, listen, either we're gonna do it big or we ain't gonna do it at all. And everything right, right. we did at Troy State, we did big. So that's coming over to you know, um, Omicron Tau Sigma. You know, it's a new day in OTS. We got the state conference, you know, that's coming to time, March, you know, in March. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, I I'm excited because, like I said, it's the first time the state conference is coming to Troy. So, you know me, Carlos, you know, we all the same way. We're we going to do it big, you know, from, you know, we got the breakout sessions going on each day, that Friday and Saturday. You know, brothers going to be in breakout sessions, you know, um, get educated on a lot of different things but as, you know as, you know with anything when you in conferences all day and you in meetings all day you know we're gonna have some wind down time you know we going we, we we i mean we got a party that friday night for the brothers you know that's going if you a cigar lover hey come on hey we got we're gonna have the cigars we're gonna got a bartender there and we just gonna you know just just chop it up as brothers and, and, and the beautiful thing about the state conference being in Troy, Alabama, we get a lot of brothers over the entire state that has never been to Troy. So that'll give them a chance to come down to Troy, Alabama and see the beautiful city. Troy is a beautiful city. You know, they'll get a chance to come down and see the city. I mean, the, the university itself, where the state conference is going to be held, that campus is a beautiful campus. They'll get the chance to experience some of the black, you know, restaurants and the black businesses. Uh, that's in Troy that got amazing food. They'll get a chance, uh, you know, to um, definitely try some of the food from the, you know, um, the black businesses in Troy. But most of all, they'll get a chance to know who Omicron, the brother Omicron Tau Sigma is. And we'll get a chance to know who the old brothers are. So it'll give us a chance to just come together as, as, as one big fraternity. You know, it's, like, it's going to be like a meet and greet, but it's going to be a special day in Troy. You know, one thing about me, you know, first thing I asked, you know, what gifts was given in the last two state conferences. So, you know, I'm all about topping everything. You know, and I asked how were the decorations? So when they come to Troy, you know, I said, you know, they probably thinking, oh, hey, OK, the state conference going to be in Troy. It ain't going to be this, ain't going to be that. But guess what? They're going to be shocked. We got some things going on in Troy for the state conference. That's when they come to Troy, they are going to be shocked. I'm talking about from the decorating of the room. The gifts. Oh, the gifts that we've given out for state conference. They don't even know what it is. Now, this, uh, this brother Abraham, the state director, he know and he will be able to, he'll be the first one to tell you the gift that we're giving out for these brothers that's coming to the state conference. Amazing. So we making Ooh. sure they get good gifts. The hospitality that we're going to set out for them, the love that they're going to receive from Omicron Tau Sigma coming to Troy, we're going to make sure that they have an experience that they never experienced at a state conference before. I mean, even with this podcast right now, what other state conference ever had a you know state conference jump off with a podcast? No, none. So this Pre is the first time the podcast the is being you know. put into play at state conference, and guess who's leading it? Omicron Tau Sigma. I'm telling you, Omicron Tau Sigma for this state conference, we are going to have a good time. We're going to learn. We're going to bond. We're going to love on each other. And like I said, it, it'll give us an uh, opportunity to meet a lot of other brothers from a lot of other chapters. That way, once we meet them and they meet us, I'm all about showing support. So anything them brothers over the state got going on, I want them to be able to reach out to OTS. And we gonna have representatives there at their functions. You know, same thing. If we send them something that we have in Troy, we want them to send some representations down to our events as well. Because I not only do I want to support all the chapters in Alabama, but I also want those same chapters to show us love and support us as well. Because the state conference, oh, we putting it down in Troy, Alabama in March. I can tell you that right now. So I'm definitely excited about it. Definitely excited about it. I mean, we got the venues for the um paraphernalia not only uh we got um a uh, 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 paraphernalia for uh the blue and white family the 586 and zeta 580 but guess what we got bro we, hey, we got paraphernalia companies coming down that's going to be selling paraphernalia to, for all d9 organizations so it, it don't so if you don't have to be a part of the blue and white family to come and buy you some paraphernalia if you're a delta aka kappa alpha q whatever Guess what? We got paraphernalia for everybody. Every D9, we're going to have people that are selling paraphernalia. 
So, you know, I mean, even at this party Saturday night, if you don't have I mean, Friday night, if you don't have cigars and you're a cigar smoker, guess what? We're going to have somebody there rolling cigars, hand rolling cigars for you. So you ain't got to go to a shop or nowhere to, uh, you know, uh, at the country, get a hand roll cigar right there. You can get it right there in Troy, Alabama that Friday night where we smoking cigars and just having a good time fellowshipping. You know, Saturday night, same thing. We're going to be at B. Grave Saturday night, wind down Saturday. You know, when, every, when the conference is ending and everything, all the business is taken care of, you'll be able to come out to B. Graves and we're going to have a good time, a great time. Ooh. So, you know, we always, and that's every state conference. You're going to have a lot of brothers and a lot of people come to town to state conference just for the parties. Guess what? It's okay. Come on to Troy and party with us that Friday night. It's going to cost you $25 to get in, though, if you are not <laughs> ready for the state conference. Guess what? This ain't a free event, baby. It's going right. to be $25 to get in that party that Friday night. But guess what? That party going to be hype. Is it you open know? to the public, Pooh? Is it, is it parties open to the public? Oh, we gonna open it up to the um. Uh, 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 we ain't gonna say we are gonna open it up to the public, but we are gonna open it up to the D nine, all the D nines. Okay, okay. And we may open it up to the public. You know, I, I don't know. We'll um finalize that. You know, in the next week or two. But you know, before I say yes, we are gonna open it to the public. I would rather have a conversation. You know, with our executive board at OTS, along with the state director, and see what he says as well. Yeah. You know, and speaking of the state director, you know, I got a chance, you know, yesterday at the John Lewis event, man, took the brother out to lunch and, you know, and like I told him, I just wanted him to get a feel of who I was. I wanted to get a feel of who he is. And let me tell you, man, that is a m amazing brother. Man, that speech, you know, I got to shout out brother Abraham, st state director. That speech he gave at the John Lewis um, event yesterday, y'all, I wish I had it recorded. He got off on that speech. He got off on that speech and any accolade that that brother gets, he deserves. I don't know him that well, but um, the, 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 as we sat there and talked and, 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 you know, you know, if somebody spirit ain't right when you talking to him, but man, that brother just had a good spirit, man. And, 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 and be honest, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him and I'm happy he's the state director because you know he's showing me and letting me know hey he with OTS 100 percent and he pulling for us. So shout out to the state director Abraham. Keep doing your thing. That's an amazing brother. So yeah, man, the state conference gonna be lit in Troy, Alabama. And you know, like I said, man, I'm excited. The chapter excited. And and, and we just finished show the rest of these chapters in Alabama. What Omicron Omicron Tai Sing was about. We put on. When we put on, we put on. You can believe that. We put on. We put on for the city. We put on for the chapter. We put on for the fraternity. So guess what? If you ain't got your ticket, if you ain't registered for the state conference, you need to get registered because it's going to be a treat in Troy, Alabama. It's going to be a state conference like none other. I'm telling you. So if you ain't got, if you have not registered, it's not too late. Go ahead and register and get your uh, packet for state conference. Be ready to come down at a fellowship with the brothers to be able to learn, ask questions in the breakout sessions. I'm looking forward to the breakout sessions. And listen, it's going to be a good time for this state conference. Man, we're excited. We are excited. You keep talking like that, you're going to mess around and make, make, make DJ exclusive plays around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you got me hyped up. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I mean, the state conference gonna be, man. The state conference gonna be big in Troy for us. You know, like I said, it's a lot of changes going on at, uh, in Omicron and Tai Sigma with new leadership, new board. You know, we moving in a in a, in a different direction, and and, and and it's good. Like them brothers I was telling you about that I went to school with at Troy State back in '95, '93, '92, '93, '94, '95, '96. I called each one of those brothers one at a time and say, I'm gonna ask you a question. I needed you to tell me yes. I said, we are moving our membership back to Troy. We going home where it all started. And all them brothers told me yes. So we all left the chapters we was in and moved our membership to Troy. I'm telling wow. you, wow. it's a movement with OTS in Troy, Alabama. And like so, I told the state director, give me two years, Omicron Ty Sigma name will be ringing over the state of Alabama. I'm telling you. <laughs> Either we're going to do it right or we ain't going to do it at all.
Right, right, right. So those just those just two y'all just two different chapters, right? Same, same, same fret, but different chapters. Come my four ass when you say come my uh, 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 uh the who you partner with for the conference? Lambda. Yeah. Well, no, the one you partner with, with for the undergraduate conference. chapter. Oh, oh, the one that's coming to the state conference. Yes, 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 the conference. Yeah, those are different chapters in different parts of the state of Alabama. Okay, but same frat, but just different. Same different, frat, uh, just different, different chapters. Chapter. In, in, in um, like you got, we in um Troy. You got Montgomery chapter. You got Birmingham chapter. Got so it. they all over. You got Atmore chapter. So you got chapters all over the uh, state of Alabama. Gotcha. gotcha. Huntsville. Okay. That's so, this, so you said they kick yeah. off Friday though. Did you give a time? You had y'all had a time nailed down yet? Friday, like far as when it it kicks off the conference. Well, I don't have that in front of me, but the next podcast, we're going to get the times for everything, the times, the place, and everything. You know, this is the first podcast, and we just want the brothers to know that, listen, if you're not coming to the state conference in Troy, you are going to miss a treat. I'm telling you. That's what's up. That's it's what's dope. up. Dope. Who got everybody hyped up ready for this thing, man? Oh, man, this oh, state yeah. conference is going to be off the chain. It ain't so like, nothing like a bunch of black men getting together so and love have, and unity and, 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 and support. How, how Not only is, us, but the chapter, the fraternity. Right. How, how hard is it to get the state conference in your area, Pooh? You know, like you, I heard you say, like, this is the first time for us to, to have it in trust. So how hard is that? I'm not sure how hard it is. But from my understanding, speaking with um, a couple of brothers like Torrey and Chestnut and all them, Chestnut said that he put Troy name in the hat a couple of years ago. So I don't know how hard it, um, it is to get the state conference, but I do know this here. God <laughs> may not come when you want him, but he always on time. God <laughs> will have that conference wherever he needed or wanted at that particular time. And he know that Omicron Ty Sigma. 586 fraternity down in Troy, Alabama. God said, I'm going to drop this on. Make sure that it's in Troy <laughs> in 2024. Regardless of what the heads of the chapter uh, of 586 would say, God is right. still in control in the orchestra of everything that we do. Well, uh, so God <laughs> made the decision to have it in Troy 2024. <laughs> and I think the executive boards of the state and everything by being. Um, obedient to God and say, "Hey, we're gonna send it to Troy. <laughs> we're gonna send it to Troy." So, uh, hey, we ready. We Troy are ready. is. Troy it is. <laughs> Troy it is. Yeah. Jesus, but like, Troy right. Is. But like you said, that is a beautiful campus down there, though. Um, it is. I've been down there a couple times, several times actually. Though. Man, it yeah. done grow since we've been there. Well, right. it was at Troy State when we was there. And they turned right. it into Troy University, but but they dining hall and everything that they got now, man. We ain't had none of that, none of that while we were dining there in Troy. No, no, had us. No, we got there. Did y'all was Sartain there when y'all was there? Pooh, Sartain was there. Right. They done built Sartain the whole was there. Down. It was not a D one college when we was there. It didn't look like a D one college when we was there. Now it looked like a D one school. Yeah, it definitely. Like I mean, that. it looked like a D one school. And brother, let let me say this here because I don't want to take all the credit for um, the state conference and everything that's going on for the state conference. So let me shout out my executive board. Now, uh, you know, not only the executive board, the brothers of Omicron Tie Sigma, because none of this would be happening if it wasn't for the hard work that they've been putting into it. You know, so we all been working hard. We man, we've been on conference calls, seem like every night or every night we on a conference call. I know those brothers, you know, get tired of t me texting. I, and Carlos will tell you when we did a homecoming, once again, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right or we ain't going to do it at all. Because I wow. was sending a thousand text messages out asking <laughs> questions. Have we done this? Have we done that? Oh, you know, hey, what we need to pay for? Look, I need it done. Let's get it done. And then we're going to have a meeting. They're going to tell me what they have gotten done. Right. So, you know, but I mean, I respect each and every brother of OTS. Like I said, man, I pick up the phone and call those brothers and say, hey, you know, we need this for state conference. What's going on with this? Have we took care of this? Have we finalized this? And man, everybody has truly been working hard on this state conference, especially this executive board. Man, I think we got the best executive board you know, uh, in the state of Alabama, 
you know, I'll be a fool if I say it in a executive board and in other chapter was better than, you know, my executive board. So, you know, I mean, this is my first time being president. You know, didn't want to be president, but here I am once again. It ain't about what an individual want to do. It's about what God have you to do. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely proud of this executive board. I'm, I'm definitely proud the way OTS is moving. And, you know, it's just the beginning. This state conference is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. That's but when them brothers leave Troy, Alabama on that Sunday, I can guarantee you them brothers going to leave Troy, Alabama and say, you know what, them brothers down there in Troy, oh, they about their business. <laughs> oh, they oh they know how to throw a state conference. Oh, they know how to give good gifts. They know how to, you know, when it's time to unwind. Oh, them brothers know how to unwind down there. You know, so so I mean, we gonna we gonna we gonna have a good time. We are going to have a good time. That's dope, up. dope. <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to get to it. I'm definitely ready to get to it. That what you got? I don't know, man. It's, I, I just think it's a good thing, though, when y'all the brothers can come together, period. But, you know, especially from different walks, like y'all, that chapter's over there, y'all over here, y'all can come together for a good cause. That's always dope to me, man. I love to see that. And just continue the good works, brother. Y'all keep going. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, anytime brothers can come together, you know, and, you know, have breakout sessions and we can talk about the fraternity, you know, how can we grow in the fraternity? How can we... Right you know, strengthen the brotherhood of the fraternity, you know, how we can, you know, a, a lot of things that we want to do. Because one thing we want to do, but we waited too late, and this would have would have killed the state conference. We wanted to have a job fair there where they were going to hire on the spot. And we had a couple mm -hmm. companies, you know, that we knew that was uh, that we could have got. And all y'all that are going to be listening to this podcast, don't still lie. Well, y'all go ahead and take this idea. But we were going to do that, and we are going to be the first chapter to, to have that in place as well. But um, it got to a point we had waited too late to do it. But we, I know we could have had five companies that would have hired on the spot. So, um, But I hate we didn't get a chance to do that. But the, the, the state conference is still going to be phenomenal. It's still going to be great. It's going to be one of the best state conferences in, 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 in a long time. And that's something that you always can come back and do too, you know. With, right. with oh yeah, that's, that's something we probably can do yearly. Um, oh yeah, right. oh yeah. At some point, OTS will have a job fair in Troy, where yeah. we'll have um a, a, a big companies that's going to hire on the spot, and we'll do another podcast before we do it, and we'll send it out. Uh, we'll uh, we'll send it to the state executive board and let them blast it out on their social media page for all the brothers over the state, especially them brothers that's in college getting ready to graduate, that's looking for jobs, or brothers that don't graduated that that you know need a job and trying to find a job. That'll be an opportunity for them brothers to come back to Troy, and you know link up with these companies that we're gonna have for these job fairs, and these companies will be hiring on the spot. So um, we definitely going to be doing that in Troy as well. And we may do that uh, next year and we might do it this year if we can find some time to do it once we link up these companies. And um, like I said, we got a lot that we're going to be doing in Troy. And um, like I said, y'all get ready and, 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 and get ready to hear about Omicron and Ty Sigma in, in Troy, Alabama, the graduate chapter. You now, we got a young board. You know, I'm a freshly new president. The vice president is freshly new. You know, the uh, treasurer freshly new. You know, none of us got spirits doing this here, but we moving together as one. You know, like they say, well, one, hey, well, one or two are gathered. God will be in the midst. Yeah, God man. in the midst with OTS. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So, but that's what's up. Well, state conference going down March 15th, 16th. Am I right, Pooh? Trey, you are. Uh, Five Eight and Sigma State Conference. I'm a Cronti Sigma is the host and chapter. Um, y'all know how we do now, Pooh. You, I know you new to this, so it's just how we do when we get ready to end and close out, close our shows out. The motivation for the week, your motivation for the week, you the guest, so you got to give a motivation for the week. That's how we do. That's how we close it out. My motivation from the week, you know, I'm big on God. I'm big in the church. So, you know, my motivation for the week, y'all, is lean to God's understanding and not your own understanding. Because if you lean to the understanding of God, then you lean in the right way. When you start leaning to your understanding, nine times out of ten, you lean in the wrong way. So continue to trust God and trust the process. 
Trust the process. Bet. Dad, what that do you got this week? That dope. Trust the process. Trust the process. Or we go on with. Trust, hey. trust the process. Yes, sir. So that's what we're going to end it with. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. We will be back. Uh, we'll be doing this leading up into the state conference. We appreciate them for having Classic Conversation a part of it to entertain y'all about what's going on uh, with the conference. So we appreciate that as well. Y'all know y'all always welcome back here. So on that note, we Classic Conversation out. We done. Mm-hmm.